Daniel Andrews gets yet another blank check. Surprise, surprise, the upper house of Victoria is going to allow the state of Danistan to remain in a state of emergency. That with just one case, he could lock the entire joint down and with nobody's advice, he could lock the entire joint into a curfew. This is despite the fact that millions of vaccines will be around the country and four million people will get them by April. Most people in aged care will get them before then. And surprise, surprise, who the person was who is going to help broker the deal in the upper house of the parliament, along with the Greens. Despite the fact that just a month ago, we can't live like this, just like she did the last time. Matthew Guy, uh, the former opposition leader and key member of the opposition in Victoria, well, he can see this for what it is. The power play that means Andrews can do exactly what he did for a week, just a couple of weeks ago, where the entire state of Victoria gets locked down, despite the fact that a very small number of cases are in Melbourne only, but people in regional Victoria can go jump. This is quite astounding that we've got a government that really that thinks it's necessary to have state of emergency legislation in operation until December. Think of what that does to the economy in Victoria, a quarter of the nation's population. Melbourne, a city of five and a quarter million people, locking down business, snap lockdowns, what it does for investment, what it does for jobs, what it does to our hospitality sector. And all of this from the sex party, the animal justice party uh, and, um, and the Greens, uh, handed to Daniel Andrews with no appreciable gains. And again, nothing is written in the legislation that says how many cases equals what type of lockdown. One case was enough to lock down one and a half million people for the third time in Auckland. This is despite the fact that the vaccine exists. Do you trust Daniel Andrews to be able to use good judgment for a fourth time in terms of lockdowns in Victoria? I don't. But apparently the Parliament of Victoria does. And surprise, surprise, the same people who just keep giving him the stamp of approval, yet keep getting attention drawn to themselves by pretending they're going to stand in the way, they end up just rubber stamping it anyway. So literally, we talk about each way elbow, it's every way for some of those people.